Hi guys, I'm Pastor Mitch and welcome to your word for the day. Today we get to take a look at Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. It says, For God wanted them to know that the riches and glory of Christ are for you Gentiles. And this is the secret, that Christ lives in you. This gives you the assurance of sharing his glory. See guys, the truth is God created the earth and everything in it for his glory. And Christ has made a down payment on you. He's made this down payment on and for you. In the Old Testament, we learn that our sin, that it separates us from God. In fact, it's only God's chosen people who had a connection to him through the temple. And even then, there was only a very few uh, individuals in their role as high priests who could actually interact with God. And then God died for us to pay for our sins so that we would no longer be his enemies. And now we have this secret, like superpower. And our secret is that Jesus lives in us. See, when you live in Christ, he lives in you, and that allows you to do things above and beyond anything that you could have ever imagined. In John 15, 5, Jesus says this. He says, I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Your secret power allows you to bear fruit. So what does the Bible mean by bearing fruit? It means that because Jesus lives in you, that you are able to forgive that person you thought you could never forgive. It's because Jesus lives in you that you can restore relationships that have been destroyed. That you can live life generously even without this huge income. And that you can grow closer to a holy God that loves you, but he despises your sin. So I want you guys to go and take on the day with courage in the fact that you have the secret, that you have the secret that Jesus lives inside of you, and that because of this, you get to take part in restoring a part of what's been broken and in bringing glory to God's name. Feel free to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for turning in to your word for the day, and we will see you tomorrow.